Good morning children. In this video we will discuss about agreement of subject and verb. So let's get started. Children, for a sentence to be grammatically correct, the main verb should agree with the subject in person and number. When the subject is singular, the verb should be singular. When the subject is plural, the verb is also plural. The verb also takes different forms depending on whether the noun is first, second or third person. This is called the agreement of the subject and verb. Examples Vali likes to build robots as a hobby. Here in this sentence, Vali is a singular subject and likes is a singular verb. Swati and Swarup are writers. Here, Swati and Swarup are plural subject and are is a plural verb. I speak Telugu but Ajit speaks Kannada. Here, I is the first person and Ajit is the third person. Now, let's see the rules of subject verb agreement. Number one. Two or more subjects joined by AND take a plural verb. Examples, Sunil, Renu, Medha and I are good friends. Bread, butter and jam are common breakfast items. Number 2. In some sentences, the subject and the verb may be separated by several other words. In such cases, Identify the subject and verb correctly. Example, the noise of the chirping crickets was a constant feature in the forest. Here the subject is noise and it is singular subject. That is why it takes singular verb. Number three, collective nouns when thought of as a single unit take a singular verb. Examples, a team of expert is investigating the case. Number two, the committee has agreed to meet next Wednesday. Now let us see point number four. When the members of a collective noun are thought of as individual units, it takes a plural verb. Example, the jury were divided in their opinion about the guilty verdict. Here, members of the jury are taken as individual persons. Two singular nouns joined by or, either or, and neither nor take a singular verb. Examples, Mary or John is going to escort the chief guest. Neither Rahul nor Rohit is ready with the presentation. Now let us see number 6. When the subject is made up of two or more nouns joined by correlative conjunctions, the verb agrees with the noun or pronoun that is placed closest to it. Examples, either my friends or my brother is going to book the tickets. Either my brother or my friends are coming to pick me up from the station. Now let's see point number seven. Indefinite pronouns such as much, many, anything, nothing, everything, something, either and neither usually take a singular verb. Examples, neither of the two houses has a balcony. Everything is very expensive these days. Much money has been spent on renovating the house. Singular subjects followed by words such as, as well as, along with, and besides take a singular verb. When the subject is plural, the verb will also be plural. Look at these sentences. The teacher along with her students sits down to watch a film. A good book as well as the company of friends makes her happy. 
The dolphins, along with the orca, are swimming together in the ocean. Distances, periods of time, and sums of money, when considered as a single unit, take a singular verb. Examples, 10 miles is a long distance to walk. 5 years is a long time to meet your friends. $10,000 is the prize money offered in the game show. Words that indicate quantity such as all, none, some, most, more, enough, plenty and a lot of take a singular verb when the subject is singular and a plural verb when the subject is plural. Examples All the boys have taken the vaccine. Some of the cake is in the fridge. Plenty of new dishes of food are left for any guests who arrive late. Titles of books always take a singular verb even if the name has plural nouns. Example, A Tale of Two Cities is a popular novel by Charles Dickens. The Arabian Nights is a book that we all love to read. Children, let me stop here for today. If you are not clear, please feel free to share.